So what's up people? So this is just a quick video with regards to the upcoming release of Battle Angel Lita Mars Chronicle Volume 8. Since that date is coming up, and the date is July 5th for the moment that's forecasted, then I just wanted to make this video to remind people of that. Uh, if you go to Amazon, you notice that, uh, yeah, Volume 8 is expected to come out in July 5th. Now, from what we saw in Volume 7, much of the time this date was pushed back. But in this case, I think the July 5th date is relatively accurate. The reason for that is Yukito Kishiro has gone back to writing the chapters more often than he did when he was writing Volume 7. During Volume 7, if you recall, he was trying to go from paper and pen to using digital format and that took quite a bit of time for him to get used to and that's why there was a significant delay in many of the chapters for volume 7 and the delay in the release of the actual volume. But for volume 8 he's been releasing chapters maybe not regularly but much more often than he did for volume 7. And since we are closing in on the July 5th date, if there was a delay, I would have expected that to have occurred already quite a while back. The fact that we're getting very close to July 5th and yet Amazon hasn't pushed the date back makes me feel that hopefully this time that July 5th date will be real. Now for me, I'm going to be waiting for the digital version to come out since for me, I find that easier when I make these videos. And so I'll wait for Comixology to bring the digital version out at that date. But for anybody who's interested in the actual paperback version, then there is a pre-order uh, capability from Amazon if you're interested. Now, Volume 8 is, <laughs> yeah, this is a really good volume based upon the chapters that have come out. It includes story parts that many many fans have been looking forward to experience ever since the beginning of Battle Angel Alita Last Order. There are certain characters that come out finally in Mars Chronicle that we've all been waiting so long to see since they were introduced first in Last Order. And the story is very intriguing because it finally covers something that we've all wanted to see, which is, of course, Alita or Yoko's introduction into the world of Panzer Kunst. And it opens up yet another mystery. If you recall, Mars Chronicle is a comic series full of many, many mysteries. And we've, of course, went through the mystery of the immortal Nostrum, and of course, there is the ongoing mystery that's happening in the current era of the same. But with regards to the flashback, we find out that there is yet another mystery that's opening up. And this one is very interesting because it does involve the Panzer Kunst Academy. And the mystery seems to focus around the third school of Panzer Kunst. If you recall, there was three surviving schools or somewhat surviving schools of Panzerkunst that around the time Yoko was growing up. They were the Mauser School and the Schneider School of Panzerkunst. And there was a question of whether the Gossen School of Panzerkunst still existed. Once again, my apologies for the poor pronunciation of these names. But this volume is very interesting because it goes into the mystery of that third school. And we only see the beginning of it with this volume but it opens up various questions with regards to what has happened. Now, if you look at the cover, it's very interesting because the cover introduces a very new character. For anybody who hasn't read Volume 7, you may wonder who this character is. Luckily for the people who've read Volume 7, they were introduced at least to this character, although we don't know the background of this character. But Volume 8 goes further into the detail. And of course, he is a Kunstler, and his name is Kun, the Kaufman. And he seems to be involved with a lot of the story of this mystery, as well as the story of the initial introduction of Panzerkunst to Yoko. 
And so it'll be interesting to see how this moves on as the chapters beyond Volume 8 comes out. But this volume is very interesting because it finally revolves around the questions that many people have had since actually the very early chapters of the original series. How did Yoko or Alita learn Panzerkunst? And so for me, of course, I will be happily uh, getting this volume once it comes out. And we'll be looking forward to the chapters beyond this volume once Yukito Kishiro writes about them. But anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video so that if any of you are interested, this is the, so far, the updated date with regards to the release of Volume 8 in the United States. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, once I have any other Battle Angel Lita videos, I'll put them up and I hope you join me at that time. And until then, happy manga reading. And as always, Jen, nice day, everyone.